Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today we will talk about uh, BlackBerry uh, traded at New York Stock Exchange ticker name BB. Well BlackBerry is a famous stock of course and uh, it was showing some nice after COVID recovery then with stabilization that took, that took place uh, starting from 8th of uh, June and then uh, the price was actually volatile in the area of um, between 5 and uh, 475 and actually uh, it was not let's say giving any uh, strong reasons to go either up or down but recently last several trading sessions we see a very strong uptrend and now the question is what's going on why the uptrend is taking place and what's the future of the stock in general well to understand this we need to separate the technical part uh, versus the news and some fundamental part that can come for BlackBerry and for that first let's do a technical part and a chart analysis based and then we will go to news and actually what is the driver for future and what we can expect. So as I said uh, for technical part indeed starting from 16-17 of March we see a very nice uptrend behavior and then uh, starting at 8th of June, uh, also dark, uh, another dark day, well dark day, it's actually day that stopped recovery sequences for many companies, uh, we see a kind of stabilization and another line is formed here after this recovery sequence which is kind of flat uh, volatility level here. And it was not only for BlackBerry but many companies uh, did show similar behavior. Uh, what is remarkable to note here that actually moving average 200 which is that red line was uh, following still down meaning that although the company recovered from the uh, pre-COVID depth but still it didn't completely recover and didn't show uh, further strong growth so it was just volatile on this level of trend one, uh, trend 2 line and this is the trend 1 line uh, but now what we see is this very nice uptrend it also coincide with actually very nice RSI action sending the price in the overbought situation but now the question is what's happening here well, uh, and what's happening here is a very uh, strong news. First, of course, expectation, but then news are coming out. And the news is uh, that uh, BlackBerry reported that its uh, new software uh, was approved by uh, Department of Defense and Information Network. And without going too much into details, it's actually software that allows some communication on higher level on defense uh, Interdepartment, inter uh, yeah, organizational, etc. So something very high level, extremely secure, and uh, BlackBerry software passed it uh, specification. So now what what's coming uh, is that we can expect later some contracts coming based on that software, and this can bring extra fuel to the stock. But the question is, what is going now in the short term? Well. From uh, that point of view, we see that the current uh, candle that we see here is actually a very high white candle without that many shadows, meaning that it still can continue based on use the inertia movement upwards. But not to forget that this company is actually a uh, quite big company with its uh, market capitalization being around uh, 3 billions and uh, this means that that news is not really capable to launch it to the sky so most probably tomorrow we will start with positive inertia behavior and then we will have some volatility or resistance on that level which is actually the June 8 maximum level and this will be uh, the first resist line R1 then we will see what happened. Most probably uh, the correction will happen because also if you note here the moving averages 20 and 50 uh, by the way here they are depicted on the left um, they are starting to accelerate meaning they are going like this and moving average 50 the blue line going like this and this means that not only they are positive but their first and second derivatives are positive so they start going upwards with acceleration meaning that with some time we will have this pattern of free moving averages so it's a classical 20 50 200 pattern meaning that actually uh, the stock is going really to a positive stable growth uh, but since as I said the company is still huge 3 billion and the news it's only news it gives some hopes but no contracts yet 
this upward strength 20, 50, 200 will go with waves. And actually what will happen, uh, this current wave should stabilize itself or correct itself, I think either from tomorrow or from uh, a bit closer to end of the week, because by inertia we will have some volatility here and then we should have a stabilization. And then stabilization should follow until uh, we reach the levels of moving average 20 in this case or at least 200 so uh, we should come to, uh, to those levels and then we can start another wave and then it really will behave like a classical wave up behavior for many stocks for big stocks that show uh, so-called 20 50 200 pattern so then when you catch the wave you can buy actually and take another wave expecting for news um, because once BlackBerry comes that based on their software, they have some contracts, um, some extra cash is about to come to the company, then it will be higher motion. But for now, uh, this news, very positive of course for company, should stabilize the stock and then um, once we have moving averages 20, 50 and 200 forming this uh, classical positive formation, then the wave behavior will start and we can play waves and then for you the information to buy is actually when you are in vicinity of moving averages 20 or 50 also looking at MACD here once it going from positive to downwards negative wave and then crossing upwards that's another indication and of course RSI should be then in the area of 50 so like here we observe so having this free settled altogether, RSI moving averages and price and in vicinity of moving averages 20 or 50 and MACD, then you know the new wave is starting so you can take it. Overall, the future for the stock is uh, quite positive. Again, expecting news and uh, extra news, I mean being contracts proposed. So he, this is where the technical and fundamental analysis comes together. Uh, proposing a better positive future for the BlackBerry, maybe it will, it will return uh, to its uh, previous fame. Uh, but uh, now, after a couple of trading sessions, the strong correction is expected here, and then waves should start taking on. So that's it for BlackBerry. Um, very positive though, but you need to know where to buy if you're a short-term player. And uh, yeah. With this, knowing the levels and what to expect, you can make your trade here. Good luck with it and also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way you will not miss our new videos speaking about new opportunities for US-based stocks.